Ryan Downey, senior editor with AP here at our own AP Awards 2015. I'm Andy sitting McDonald. with this gentleman, Andy McDonald. Had a farm. Goth farmer. Uh, you know what? The overalls look great on stage. Kind of hard to sit on a couch. The thing is that I can't feel my legs at all right now. And that's really, that's the, what I try to go into any interview with is some extremity violently torn apart well, from you know body. what's great is you're going to have publicists and various handlers and stuff trying to tear you away from me sure. but since your legs don't work can't do it you're going to be can't do it. the thing I've that got they 120 questions can i share something with the audience that's viewing this what you don't know is that there's a hundred people i've never met looking at us right now waiting for their turn to get interviewed or their person so it's it's a little bit unnerving so i'm, I'm like kind of lifting the curtain back there's a whole bunch of people looking at us right now and obviously you're looking at us as you're a viewer of this uh but there's other people in addition in the moment. So that's just information that I thought yeah. was pertinent before we it's keep It's one thing to like talk in front of like one or two of your friends or to talk in front of like 100,000 sort of sea of faces. Sure. This is Or to talk in front of a bunch of adults that don't need to laugh at my jokes. E exactly. Yeah. 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 Well, also because we told them to be quiet, so now they don't know sure. what to do. That's, it's confusing. Yeah, it is confusing. Uh, so last time you were here, which was the first time we did this, uh, you actually gave your fan award to a fan. I did. How do you top that this year? Uh, well, so we talked about that. And if we do win an award, I think that this year we will probably hold on to it because of uh, if we are lucky enough to win one, I'm going to dedicate it to our friend Chris Holly, And uh, more than likely, I will give mine to Chris's family. So Yeah, and, um, you know, it's it seems like there's always some kind of tragedy that's following our scene. And, of sure. course, you know, there's the terrible news about the guy from after the burial today. Um that would be great if you guys could do that. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, now if we don't win, everybody's going to be really bummed. <laughs> yeah. So that was a now cool if they thing don't win, said. it's because everyone, you know, is... No, I got, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of a neat thing. I don't mean to hijack the interview, but I've got uh, Chris's mother. I, it is with you, the interview, so... Yeah, that's true. Chris's mother gave me this. Uh, it's his uh, fingerprint and insider is his ashes. Oh. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, one of our crew members and one of our best friends uh, passed away right before our Warped Tour started this year. And so it's been rough uh, for all of us. But being here tonight and having this on me on stage and everything is, is kind of a, a great moment for us. And his family's watching and everything. So you Absolutely. Know. And and your family's here. Your parents came out. Yeah, right? yeah. They live in Ohio, I would hope. It would be weird if they didn't make the I am I'm from Cincinnati, which... Uh, when you move out of Cincinnati and you go anywhere else in the world, when you tell someone you're from Cincinnati, someone will immediately say, oh, I know someone from Cleveland. And then you have to explain that that's not even fucking close at all. But it is theoretically in the same state, but there are different border cities. It's like well, this. When I say I'm from Indianapolis, people go, oh, Minneapolis. Yeah, I've yeah. been there. So I just think of Axl Rose. Yeah. Well, it's all I think you are Axl you. Rose. Uh, I am Izzy Stradlin. Actually, this is what Are happened you? to me after I left. I wondered. Everybody, yeah. here he is, yeah. Izzy. Yeah. This is what this is what I do now. I interview Black Veil Brides backstage at the APMAs. Um, you just performed, uh, and I understand. Uh, I don't want to reveal your uh, personal secrets to the audience, but you're ill as fuck right now. I'm not feeling great, but I'm on a lot of over-the-counter drugs. And so I can't really all, all feel legal, anything right all now. All perfectly safe and legal. Oh, absolutely. Zero. It's yeah. all of your tussins and your quills. Uh, but I can't really feel anything, which made for my performance be very interesting. I saw a lot of sort of white light. Um, my hand won't stop shaking. But there's dedication involved here to get to the APMAs and, and to uh, perform and hopefully yeah. to be honored well, I remember later. you said you were basically on death's door, but you were like, professionally, I'm going to get up and do the thing. Cause I got the, the, the B12 shot. I did the steroids. Uh, not like... Schwarzenegger steroids, like, you know, clearly. Um, but I did uh, skinny guy steroids for they, my they throat. They kick in tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They just, just give me big-ass throat, throat muscles. Yeah. yeah. My throat will swell up, and I can flex it. It's a flex throat. Um, you've been talking recently in interviews. I've been talking a lot recently and always, my entire life. Black Veil making a new record. But you've also got an Andy Black record to make because people are excited for that. You were like, hey, everybody, here's a song. Just kidding. There's nothing else coming. Sure. So, uh, how are you balancing these things, and when can we expect one or the other to I, happen? I shouldn't tell you this, but you I'm but going, going to anyway. Because you can't get up. Because I can't get up, so I might as well share all information. The intention is to uh, finish both records uh, concurrently Ooh. for me. I have almost all the material worked on for Andy Black. We're going to get in, uh, start working with John Feldman, 
and uh, do a Blackville record, and then I'm going to try to get an indie black record done. So obviously, I will not be wor recording the records at the same exact time, but I will be writing and working uh, and fine-tuning the elements of the Andy Black. I have something like 45 songs for wow. Andy Black. Um, now it's just fine-tuning them, getting down to the best ones, and then writing a few new ones. And then the Blackville record, we want to try to go back and kind of not necessarily revisit the concept record, but to revisit the idea of uh, working in that kind of realm and working with Feldy and seeing what sure. we can come up with. Yeah. Um I'm looking to see if she's wrapping me up. <laughs> I can, I'll say a bunch of other shit that I'm not supposed to say if you keep me here. Just all kinds of stuff. I know about the moon landing. Um, all kinds of shit. Don't, and don't let Drama Club over here. Just, I'll just keep talking. I'm going to filibuster this whole thing. I have, I'll do Drama Club actually filmed. Drama Club, come in. They actually do you wanna, filmed. Do you want to read landing. that? We'll do the, uh, the Patton Oswalt filibuster, just the, <laughs> yeah, the, the Star Wars. Wars. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. There they are. They don't have lips. These 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 were these were actually uh, the lone gunman on the uh, grassy knoll. Do I just get to sit here during theirs? Because that I would mean, be perfect for can. me. Here. In fact, if you would like to do the interview with Drama Club, I could spectate. Um, you could play rhythm guitar. Sure. Who, if if you had a rhythm guitar player in Drama Club, who would it be? Izzy All right, Izzy Stradlin. There we go. I want to know, what did you think of the Blackville Brides performance tonight? Those guys just came off stage. I didn't get to see it because we introduced them, and then they escorted us off to take pictures. And do Likely stuff story. On Twitter. Likely story. I know. So. He recorded it, though. Inside of his mask is a video recorder. I so. believe there's a camera or two inside, it's so you HD. might be able to watch it somewhere HD. at some point. Yeah. THC. And you know what? You didn't look like you were dead. You looked pretty alive. So you just would, I mean, you, you basically have to go out there and just turn it on, no matter how sick you are, right? And then you come off and... Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's sort of part of performing. And, and I mean, these guys, every day on Warp Tour this summer, they've got the whole gear on and everything. And obviously, yes, they were born with those faces, but the rest of it is, is kind of all pieces that are part of a, a presentation. So um, you go out there and you, and you do your thing and you, and you do your best. And whether it's hot or you're sick or whatever, you give people the best you can. And this is a relationship that predates, obviously, tonight. Y'all know These are my high school girlfriends. Bit. Yeah, we've been dating for Both years. Yeah. He allows himself to go on tour with his entourage without it looking like it's about him. Yeah. Well, you know, what's interesting is we had an artist back here a little while ago. Uh, her name was uh, Juliet something. I've Sims. met her, oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. I, I'm um, familiar. I believe she thinks she's dating you. Sure. So you might want to clear she that up. She literally is, whereas they are sort of an ethereal sort of like uh, we're dating, but in the in the most musical sense. Almost imaginary friend sense. Yeah. You know, you know there's no one next to you right there's now, There's right? no penis to penis. There's no one next to you right no. now. That's how that's how I'm gay sex is had, right? Just dicks touching like in the front. So yeah, oh. thanks, joint interview. That was great. Uh, what's happening back there? What's on that mixtape is what I want to know. It's number three, it's and money, dude. why is number three better than number one or number two? Well, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a party, man. <laughs> Cassettes are back right now. You could sell that for like 30 bucks and so Truth like. is, because mixtape three is the one we're currently working on. We've already released zero, one, and two, so three hasn't come out yet. We were going to play it, it's but our out of batteries. <laughs> <laughs> His batteries went dead. He's been going since last night, so yeah. we don't know what to do. He's so disappointed <laughs> in himself. There's a guy in there who's been trying to get out for years, and they just won't no, let him out. Wait, truth is, we went out last night, we partied our asses off, and, and we went back to the bus, we went to sleep, and at 2 in the afternoon, he still wasn't back. And when he got back, he came back like that. <laughs> it's horrifying. This is a serious problem that needs fixing. I think I think I remember you from Do the Right Thing. That was you were great. Yeah, I like that reference. That's a lot. A lot of the that's, viewers are going to know that over, one. Yeah. yeah, that's the, the kids. The kids love Do the Right Thing. Yeah. Uh, well, we're going to wrap this up before we all get drug out with canes. Sure. Uh, sure. I'm Ryan Downey for AP AP TV. This is the AP. I'm Ryan Downey's friend, and this is Drama Club. We're drama Club. Man. You've punched the microphone like 30 times. Oh damn it. I'm, I'm ADD, man. I can't help it. <laughs>